Hi, I'm Zach, and I want to take you through some of the task management features of Service Sidekick. So here we are on the Tasks tab. We have a list of our current tasks. In the right sidebar, we can see that we can add simple tasks here. So for example, I can renew or actually review the November ad budget. We can optionally select a type. Uh, here I'm going to choose Other, and we'll go ahead and do this next Wednesday at 1 p.m. and this is going to take about two hours. We'll click Add Task and the page will refresh and we'll see our new task here. This is a simple task. The second type of task is a customer task and here we see an example. Uh, we're going to have lunch with Craig and this task is attached to a customer record here. The third type of task we see here which is a task attached to a job or an estimate record. So for example, we have an outstanding estimate with DJ Computers called Custom Landscape Design, and this task is associated with that. So again, you can add simple tasks here, or to create customer or job tasks, you can simply go into the customer or the job and create the task there. So here, for example, we'll see this task attached here to Craig's record. If we wanted to add a new task, we can just click the new task link and we can fill this in and it will attach it to the customer record. All of these tasks will show up on the calendar. So for example, if we go in, we should see here on the calendar um, some of these tasks here. Here's their call John and doctor's appointment task and the uh, job task is actually colored according to the uh, job type. The other nice thing about the task tracking features are the reports that we can do. Uh, we have some very nice custom reporting tools and here we can go ahead and create a new task report and I'll just call this my custom task report and I want to see the name uh, the type of the task, when it's scheduled, who it's assigned to, and let's take a look at the customer or the job name as well in case they're linked to the customer or a job. Here we can order a column, so let's say I want to see the employee's name first. And I could add filters, for example, if I only want to see my tasks, but for now let's leave the filters and grouping blank. Go ahead and create this report and just like that, we're seeing a report of all the tasks in the system. We can also export this to CSV if you want to further manipulate this in Excel, for example. We have links to the customer and job on those tasks that uh, are linked to them. And we see the different employees here. Uh, in this case, there's another employee, Daniel White, who has a task as well. So what might be interesting here, let's just do this quickly, is edit the report. And let's group by employee. So when this refreshes, what we're going to see is a grouped report now by employee and all the tasks that are set up. And there's much more you can do. You can filter down by just to see outstanding tasks or completed tasks, overdue tasks, things like that. Um, the last thing I want to point out is how do you complete tasks? You can certainly go in here if we uh, actually did complete this task, but we forgot to mark it complete. We can just edit the task and we can mark it complete and then we'll see a little check mark there. So that's a brief summary of the task management features and I hope this was helpful.